Mommy Talk, the champions of parenting, Dr. Pert, Miss Lisa, and Miss April. Real, relatable, and right on time. Mommy Talk provides information for all facets of parenting. Listen and engage as the champions of parenting bring their experience and expertise to the world of parenthood. Our listeners can expect to receive encouragement and resources that can help them with positive parental engagement. Come talk to us. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Mommy Talk. This is the show where mothers and fathers should get excited about positive parental engagement. So today is myself, Miss Lisa, and Miss April. April. Hey, Miss April. I'm in the building. It's April in the house. So we want to give a special shout out to Dr. Pert. She is out doing some mommy talk work. You know, we work in the field and out the field. <laughs> Wait, is that right? Yeah. Off the field? Okay. In and out. Yeah, we work in and out uh, trying to make uh, Mommy Talk do what we say we came here to do. So, parents, we want to encourage you to call in at 313-837-1340. And uh, we want you to come talk to us, share your experiences as a champion parent, or you can call in and ask questions. You know, being a champion parent is just realizing that you are not perfect. None of us are perfect. But, hey, we are doing a thing. Are you doing a thing, Miss April? I'm definitely doing a thing. I was just telling my sons, and we were reflecting on them growing up. And they said, well, Mom, you were very firm. I was like, well, you know, I just had to be firm because I had to set the precedence for them as a single yes. mom, you know, raising them. So. I was saying that, you know, I'm happy I was firm, um, although, you know, some things that I probably would have done differently looking back now. But, you know, you just do the best you can and just grow. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So, again, you have it uh, from a champion parent to another champion parent, and we hope we have many champion parents out there listening. So, again, it's just uh, being confident in what you do, standing firm, standing your ground, because, you know, kids will try to get over on you. Definitely. I know mine do. I can speak of some moments today, but we're going to keep on moving. So once again, callers, that number is 313-837-1340. So just briefly, uh, I just connected with a young man. His name is Calvin Mann. Uh, he's doing great things in the city of Detroit uh, for fathers and mm -hmm. um, being very supportive. Uh, and I think we need, these, we need to have these conversations. So I'm hoping he's going to call in soon. So today we are discussing tips on supporting your child, whether it be academically, uh, supporting your child in their uh, activities, and just being a supportive uh, parent in general. So this past weekend, we just had our uh, chicken and chatting with champion parents, mm -hmm. and it was a, a pretty good turnout. Um, I'm going to ask Miss April, if she doesn't mind, um, to kind of recap a little bit because our speakers were tying everything into um, mental health and that's a very important piece uh, to supporting your child academically because you have to be mentally sound in order to focus. I think a lot of us parents can definitely relate to uh, if we're stressed, right? if we're not relaxed, that it's hard to it's hard to handle uh, business sometimes if you can't focus. Exactly. So this sat past Saturday, we had an awesome... Um, workshop for those who missed out. You will have an opportunity to join us on July 27th at Northwest Activity Center where we'll do kind of a recap again on um, supporting your child academically. But this um, past Saturday on the 13th, uh, we had a wonderful presentation. I can remember the young man's name, Courtney. I can't remember the young lady's name, nor their organization. I can't remember. But shout out to them for coming we'll get that to a wonderful second presentation, um, they presented information about uh, mental health and the importance of sustaining and, you know, just speaking about, you know, mental health, because we know in a lot of communities or in a lot of households, you know, speaking about your mental health is, is known as a taboo. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are not speaking out about their different issues, and they just feel like um, if you speak out about something, you may be crazy or, yes. you know... Um, you know, pointed out as different. And, you know, so a lot of issues, a lot of people just don't speak out about. But he brought to forelight, and him, him and this young lady, I can't 
second. Um, they just talked about the importance of mental health and talking about your issues and talking through your issues for both um, children and also um, adults. They really focused on children, and I really enjoyed their presentation. They had some nice handouts uh, mm -hmm. regarding mental health. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So Courtney and his uh, fiance, uh, please forgive us, y'all. My mind is drawn a blank. Oh, yeah. And I know actually, she's a counselor. She is a counselor. Yes. She's a therapist. And yes. um, she actually used to work uh, at Osborne. She's a social worker, yep. Mm -hmm. Is a social worker? Okay. Yeah. Um, but they are out here doing great things because we were just speaking how uh, the different school systems do not support uh, the area of mental health. And you know, it's, it's declining, and well, I, I'll say it was declining, but now it seems like it's starting to be brought back up again. It seems to be a, a big topic again, which I'm, I'm so glad to hear about, and I hope that uh, more and more support will, you know, come through the different schools. Yeah, because our students, our children definitely need a platform, yes. and they need to be able to talk about the different things that are going on and just have a voice and be able to just talk things through. Yes. Yeah, that's important. So it's good that, you know, a lot of school systems are infusing that back into the schools. It's definitely a needed area. That's right. Yeah, so uh, again, parents, you know I'm the one who's going to uh, keep repeating the number habitually. <laughs> so That's call fine. us at 837-1340, y'all. Stop playing, call in, share your stories, uh, ask questions, and uh, we want we want to hear from you. So Ms. April is going to go through, uh, give us some examples. Yeah, um, about supporting your yes. children academically because we know academics play an important role. So I just have some um, tips on supporting your child academically. So uh, first tip is, you know, you need to create a routine and stick to it. I know when my sons got, I mean, we're growing up, we would, um, they would come home, we would have our snack, and then it was homework time. So we developed a daily schedule where our, my children had a specific time to do their homework. The time that your child uses for homework may vary, but their input should be sought out to when homework time should be. Bear in mind that it's generally accepted that homework should not be done right after school. Now, like I said, my sons, we did it, you know, we had came home, we did a snack and went after school, but that may not work for everybody, so you have to find, find out what works best for you. Um, Children do need time to unwind, have a snack, and let their brains recharge after a long day of academic work. Instead, setting aside time before and after dinner may be a good fit. Whatever the time may be, be sure that it's consistent from day to day in order to help you and your child get into a routine to stick to it. Another way to support your child academically is to read. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Education, the single most important thing you can do to boost your child's academic achievement is read to them and with them. Children acquire the ability for literacy long before they ever learn to read. So establish a routine of reading to your child early is vitally important. And can I interject uh, for a minute? Um, and don't be afraid when, uh, I'll tell you what my daughter used to do. When we would sit and read, she, <laughs> she would do things that would upset me. So I'm like, okay, just forget it. Because she didn't want to, she didn't want to read. Right. You know, so, so I had to distract to, you. Yes, yeah, so I had to be very patient and calm and just keep on going. You know, but sometimes it would be like, you know what, girl, go to your room. Right. Because <laughs> so you would get frustrated. Yes, you yeah. get frustrated. So keep going, parents. Yeah. So um, this establishes a routine of reading to your child early is vitally important. Exports, experts re recommend that parents should read to their children 30 minutes a day from infancy through childhood. Once children acquire the ability to read, this time should be spent more evenly between parent and child reading. Children develop the majority of their capacity for learning before the age of three, so reading to your child early and often can facilitate the development of their learning potential. So we do have a caller um, calling in to Mommy Talk. Hi, caller. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Kelvin, man. Hi. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Oh, good. we were just talking about you. Yes, we were just talking about you and the wonderful things that you are doing to celebrate fathers, to support fathers. So can you share a little bit with us? Oh, yes. Yeah. If, if, if you give me a little bit, I'll give a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was, first let me tell you, I was uh, very, very shocked uh, to know 
that this was out there. So Mommy Talk was a surprise. I was, you know, like I told you, I was like, I just, some just told me to ask you that. Because wow. the thing that, the thing that we're trying to do, we're, we're pushing is good fathers only. Kids need both parents. I run two nonprofits, one for boys, eight to 14. And good fathers only is a membership base, but we universe three, four different countries. And we're trying to, well, we're growing from here in the city. Okay. Um, but what we what we do is collect as many resources around fatherhood, and so when a father has an issue, we make sure we have those resources on deck. Wow. Mm-hmm. A couple of years a couple of years ago, we uh we had uh we got a nice program, but it it costs a lot for us to in, you know to put it together to make it happen. But we were able to take a father from zero to a hundred easy. Um, we do business showers. Which and, is, yeah, and that's awesome that you're able to provide the support for, you know, young men and fathers in need. Yeah. Definitely well, a blessing. Well, it, it, it must, it's, it's a purpose. I've been at it 34 years. Mm-hmm. So wow. I started as a young man coaching, that type of thing. And then when I got out of coaching, I started really seeing, I called myself going to be a comedian and, you know, all that stuff. And then, uh, we got the apparel, so our apparel been on Ron's house, NFL Network, and so that's how we've been out here functioning without having to be in the little funding place because our apparel, uh, I encourage me, I'm young apparel has really carried us. Oh, and what's the website we can purchase some apparel? It's uh, emmyworld.com, E M I Y world.com. Okay, yeah, so we want to make sure that we support you and have our listeners go out. Can you repeat that website once again? It's e m i y world dot com. Okay. Literally, I, I really want to get with you because I w- we're going to do something around our tag. Kids need both parents, and we're going to need that in the room. Like right now, we're hosting uh, a breaking the psychological change right now. One is workshop every Monday. Uh, my executive director, she's heading up, and Ed Bushnell, I work it as much as I can to make sure so we can get our sisters, you know, to break through some of these things that they're dealing with because everyone's dealing with the, the brokenness piece. Um, and, and, and as far as the fathers, our fatherhood celebration walk is coming up Labor Day. This will be our 11th year. Okay. And, I, and you know what? I've seen you all at the uh, parade. I don't know if you remember meeting me years ago because I met you through uh, Tony Franklin. Tony Franklin and I grew up together. And, right. Yep. And so I think, I, I think he's in your organization as well. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I've been seeing you guys out for a while. Yep. So this will be our 11th year. And, okay. uh, and And so, you know, last Two years ago, we started to incorporate the whole family. Okay. Right? Because we got to start. Village. In terms of, yep. Mm-hmm. Village behavior. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes, let's be together. Let's talk together. This individual mindset has is really, really hurting us. It, it, you know, divorce is impactful, you know, and, and I've just been speaking because I've been through a lot. Mm-hmm. And so I've just really been speaking to. As I went through these things, all this stuff was being revealed to me, so it was easy for me to just get in depth. Now I've taken it even further, and I'll drop this one in your lap, and you guys can, uh, you know, and then I know that some other people probably want to get on, but there's a doctor. His name is Yacht Persure. He died in 2017. He's a neuroscientist. He literally took the male rat, the, the father rat, mm-hmm. and put the father rat and with the, the children, right? Mm-hmm. Right? And let them play. They mic up this den, and you can hear the rats laugh. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Fatherhood and play is so important, and we didn't really understand how fathers was playing with their kids to discipline their kids, and we looked at it in the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Another piece of that is when a father is trying to discipline his kid, if he's interrupted too much scientifically, we could make the father not like his children. Mm-hmm. That in itself was worth uh, more than an effort. And the last piece is uh, 
DNA. There are these things called telomeres at the end of your DNA. There's a little round circles on your DNA. I can scrape your skin. If a boy doesn't have his father by the age of nine, he dies 40% earlier. Oh, wow. Hmm. The daughter dies 14% earlier. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is fatherhood is that powerful, and we've been pushing it away, alienating it, not understanding what it was about. Uh, we've been acting from the wrong uh, mindset that, you know, as a lead, you know, I'm a lead and I'll be talking. you got to listen to me, that whole conversation. We've been doing this all wrong. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, I just wanted to share those few pieces. Yeah, I, I appreciate would love to that. Yep, yeah, and uh, yeah. appreciate the support you're giving to fathers and the information you're putting out there. Yes. Yeah. And I wanted to highlight the post that you had yesterday that caught my t attention, and it was about, um, and you can restate it because I know I'm chopping it all out, but it was um, about the best way to support uh, your sons or something. You have to also support their friends who fathers may not be active in their life. So you can maybe restate we stated correctly. Yeah, that that's it. That's it. But it, it, it's bigger than that. It was a meme. Uh, somebody uh, texted me, texted my phone. Okay. It was like, Cal. And, and so it's really bigger than that. All the things that we're dealing with really is, is, is bigger than it's bigger than that. God told us to take care of the fatherless. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? And so we've been creating the fatherless, really, I hate to say it, for a check. Yeah. Why would you have someone involved? If I'm pushing away the biological father, I'm pushing away 71 values. No wonder our kids are messed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. As soon as a father walks out of a child's life, mental health issues begin immediately. Oh, yeah. And that's just, that's just an ace. Yeah. So, you know, that, you know I, can go, I go all day. I'm, I'm headed to D.C. soon and to a conference, and that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to drop some of these bombs. Yeah. Okay. people understand how important fathers really are. Yes, and it so is, and we, we definitely to... are going to have to uh, continue these conversations. So, Calvin, yeah. you know, we thank you so much for calling in. Can we get you to say, or what's the question? Are you a champion parent? Mm -hmm. Am I what? Are you a champion parent? Yeah, I, I have to fight for every ounce I get with my kids. Okay, so, that's yeah. right. Awesome. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And every, thank you. Every else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. And thank you for calling. Yes. Thank you so much for calling. And we'll touch bases with you soon. Yes, ma'am. All you right. Guys have a great day. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. Yep. Yeah, bye bye. Yep. Looks like we have another caller. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hi, caller. Hello. I just mm. want to tell you all that you all are doing such an awesome, awesome job. And I love Mommy Talk. We love we you too. We love you too. We appreciate your yes. support. Yes. Yes. So you all have a blessed day. Yes. Continue you to too. do what you are doing and know that I am praying. Yep. Thank you. And don't, don't be out there praying. in all that rain. I'm not out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Love you. All right. Love you. Okay. Love you. Are you a champion parent? I'm a champion parent. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Thank you for calling. Yeah. So we have another caller. Hey. Our back-to-back -back callers. Hi. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hey, mommy, how are you guys doing? Hey, hey, how are you? Good, so. You sound I, I, good. I, I, oh, okay. I'm an active <laughs> grandmother, and hey. I really help my um, child support her child. And so my question is, she's going to high school. Give me some tips that I can help my daughter help her child to have a successful transition. Yeah, so. Um, just, Join the PTA. Oh, yeah, the PTSA, yeah, for the high school. That offers a lot of support and helps the parent get involved mm -hmm. in the different activities going to the school. So that's definitely, yes, Miss um, Lisa. Yeah, orientations, back-to-school mm -hmm. events. Yeah, but the PTSA is a good um, yes. start because it has all the, you know, the calendar of events. That's right. It usually has, like, you know, ways to get in contact with the teacher. You're involved. You're um, volunteering at the school. So we would suggest her just to join a PTSA um, uh, at our um, local high school just to help her help her child get acclimated to the new high school. Because we understand it's a new world. The yes. high school is a whole different entity. Yes, it is. And she needs as much support as she can get. Thank 
you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're thank welcome. You. I love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Can we get you to say you are a champion parent? I am a champion parent. Okay. Yes, you are. yes. thank you for calling. Thank you. Wow, that, we had a lot of callers, huh? Right, and excitement. I love to hear excitement. Uh -huh. Whoa, turn up, y'all. Yeah, I really like the young man. Not saying all the other callers were good, but the young man advocating for fathers. Yes. We definitely have to connect with him. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that, that village, I love the talk of village. And um, I think uh, for me, like growing up, I grew up around a lot of cousins um, and everything, but I didn't grow up around a lot of close, close, immediate family. Mm -hmm. And not that that made any of my cousins or uh, distant relatives any less significant, um, but you can tell the difference sometimes where there is a lot of siblings, because even my mother, she has, uh, or had, has had, uh, mm -hmm. but three brothers, and um, with the exception of one, um, they all lived out of state, well, at one point, all of them lived out, out of state, so mm -hmm. all of my first cousins on my mom's side were all out of state. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that village is, is just important. And sometimes, so when you're in a situation like this, sometimes you have to create your village. You have to kind of reach out to the distant uh, relatives. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to make sure that you're, if, again, if you don't have a village, you have to create the village. You, you definitely to, do. And there's definitely people there available. Yes. Like you said, the PTSA, I know when my sons were in elementary, middle school, I was actively involved in their PTSA. And we were each other village. You know, yes. we all supported each other. And you know we did things together with the kids and adults, so it was you know kind of a, kind of a village for me, yeah. um, helping me um, help my sons be successful in school. Um, growing up, I did have close cousins, and you know we were very very close. We're not as close now. Not saying that it's distance, but you know people grow up and you know go to different avenues. But yeah. we were close. We had a good, good village growing up, um, where our um, our parents were, you know, really close, and we always did activities together. Yeah. So that was really warming, and it helped me to form my identity as a young lady growing up, yeah. um, having the support of my cousins and mom and, you know, my aunts and things like that. Yes, and and I agree with you. And even going back, I know we kind of going back and forth here, but going back to the, the PTA or PTA, uh, mm -hmm. PTSA, mm -hmm. um, at my kids' school, I could never make it to their, um, to some of their meetings, mm -hmm. so. So I made sure I got to know the parents, um, the ones that would be hanging around after school, mm -hmm. and I also made sure that I communicate heavily with the teachers um, mm -hmm. at, at my, well, my son is there, my daughter left and went to high school. Mm -hmm. My uh, daughter left and went to high school. Um, but, yes, I have a very close uh, relationship with many of the teachers at my son's school. I just mm -hmm. have to keep that connection. Yeah, it, it helps. It yes, helps. it does. Hey, caller, welcome to Mommy Talk. Hi, caller. Welcome to Mommy hi. Talk. Yes, hi. I just want to tell you guys that you're doing a great job. Thank and you. I really appreciate the information that you're giving and um, just keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We yeah. appreciate your support. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Are you a champion at parenting? Yes, I am. And I'm a champion as a grandparent also. Are you a champion <laughs> grandparent? Hey, Shout out. Yes. yes. I'm the best grandma ever. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you for calling. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So just um, making yourself known and... Um, you know, get you have to become familiar. We have to know, pay attention our, to our surroundings. I tell my kids that as oh, well. Yeah. So a lot of things that we teach our kids, uh, champion parents, we should do ourselves. You know, some of the things that we think we're only given to them, we could definitely benefit uh, from doing these things as well. Mm -hmm. So we all need to pay attention to our surroundings and yeah. make those connections. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So we appreciate you for listening and spending your evening with us here on Mommy Talk. For additional information, visit us on social media platforms at Mommy Talk Network or on our website at www.mommietalk.com. Come talk to us each and every Monday on 1340 AM or 96.7 FM WCHB Detroit from 7.30 to 8 o'clock PM. This evening, we discuss methods of supporting your child academically. Your child's success in school is dependent upon a wide variety of factors, the quality of programming at your child's school, the quality of your child's teacher, and access to quality resources are all critical components of your child's success. 
but the factor that is most important for your child's academic achievement is your involvement in their educational process. Take note of our upcoming events, Chicken and Chatting with Champion Parents. We have one more um, workshop, Saturday, July 7, 27th at 2 p.m. at Northwest Activity Center. And then finally, we have a Champion Parent free book bag and school supply rally on Saturday, August 24th at 1 p.m. at First United Church. Again, visit us on social media platforms at Mommy, M-O-M-M-I-E, Talk Network, or on our website for additional information and to sign up for our events at www.mommietalk.com. In closing, I would like to leave you with a very special quote by Jessica Lang. The natural state of motherhood is unselfishness. When you become a mother, you are no longer the center of your own universe. You relinquish that position to your children. Thank you for listening to Mommy Talk and be amazing. Okay, so we still have about two minutes um, left. So um, mm -hmm. just some questions, uh, parents out there, for you to think about. What is your biggest struggles as a parent? How do you solve these issues in your home? Do you have a support system? In what area do you get the biggest? This is a good question for me. Um, and all I can think about is my daughter's cell phone. In what area do you get the biggest pushback from your children when trying to discipline them? Oh, yeah, that cell phone, that, that new cell phone. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a lot of pushback because you get ready to take that oh cell God, phone away. Yes. Yeah, like it's the end of the world. I'm yes. going to tell you, if you want your house clean, take my door to cell phone. <laughs> oh, and she act quickly. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can believe it. Ooh, yeah. Wash the windows, mop the floors. Whatever's oh, needed, take that cell phone. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and uh, does mental health play a role in academic success and failures? And actually, Miss April did answer that earlier from the... Uh, workshop, workshop from Saturday. That we just had yeah. From Saturday. Mental health is mental health is vital and it should be talked about. Nothing that's hidden. Yes. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So yes, tune in next week, y'all. We'll Don't be, be shy here. about calling now. Yes, seven thirty to eight PM. WCHB Detroit Mommy Talk. Visit us on our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, what YouTube. Else? Oh, yeah, we're on YouTube, too. <laughs> M-O-M-M-I-E talk.com. Yes, call us. And don't forget, 837-1340. I should know that by heart. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, next time when we on. Yes. Thank you for listening to Mommy Talk, the champions of parenting. And remember, you, too, can be a champion of parenting. Continue to support and love your children. For additional information, you can contact us at info at mommytalk.com or visit our website at www.mommytalk.com. We can also be found via social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mommy Talk Network. Please listen to us every Monday at 7.30 p.m. on WCHB Detroit's Gospel Station. Come talk to us!